Yo, here Gaston here, and here we go, it's my review of One Piece Manga Chapter 964 called Odin's Adventure, and yes, we finally get to see how Odin went out to sea for the first time, leaving Wano properly without his boat getting destroyed like it's done all of the times he's tried before. This review is a little bit late because I had an interview, a job interview on Monday, and I got the job. Not sure how this is going to affect my uploading schedule, but I'm... So enjoying doing these One Piece reviews and live reactions that I'm going to remain dedicated to the calls. Might be a little bit late every now and then, but I guarantee that I will always be doing them until One Piece ends, apparently in five years' time. Now, let's get into the chapter, and it starts off not with the fight. The fight got skipped. Remember last time we saw Whitebeard and Odin, they were clashing. They were potentially firing off Conqueror's Hucky. They were equals. And it starts off this week and they are hanging out, chilling, eating and they're friends. We don't find out how that fight concluded. I'm pretty sure it was just a draw. But it's great to see them here as friends and we get some really interesting interactions as well between Odin's retainers and the Whitebeard Pirates. Mainly the one that I really, really like is the fact that in the bottom corner we see Nekomamushi and Marco sitting there next to each other, eating, mirroring them, sitting together recently like we saw when Nekomamushi went to find Marco showing the fact that they have been friends for a long time and building up that friendship here in this chapter. We also have Kinemon walking up to Whitebeard and they are showing some mutual respect for one another. They are fist bumping, that was great to see. I really like that, big Kinemon fan as you might know from these reviews. So it's great to see that Whitebeard acknowledges Kinemon and gives him the fist bump. We get some great interactions later on as well in this chapter, but the main part of this bit at the beginning is Odin saying how much he wants to join Whitebeard, and Whitebeard continually saying, no, you can't join, because he doesn't want somebody like Odin on his crew. Well, I imagine he really does. He thinks it's going to cause a lot of problems. The fact that Odin is, is essentially royalty, the fact that Odin is a really strong guy, the fact that Whitebeard has come from a crew, the Rocks Pirates, that were all really strong people that were all clashing for power at the top. Odin, he just wants to go on an adventure. He doesn't care about what level of power he is in the ship. He just wants to go out and see the world. But Whitebeard's a little bit concerned about that, and we see that here. So Whitebeard decides to leave in the middle of the night, abandoning Odin. Odin does the classic Odin of, hey guys, I just need to pop out to pee. Last time we saw him do that, he went and he challenged Ashura Doji. This time, Izzo is a little bit wise to it. He knows that Odin has gone and chased after Whitebeard and we see that he has wrapped a chain around Whitebeard's ship and he's being pulled along. Izzo does the same. Whitebeard pulls Izzo up and says to Odin, the initiation, if you can hold on to that chain for three days, you can join my crew. That will show me how dedicated you are. And Odin accepts the challenge and it is epic. What a great way for him to join the crew. And he's in the Grand Line as well, so he's holding onto this chain in Grand Line seas. The weather's changing, there's storms, there's sea monsters, and he's holding on. Whitebeard's crew is cheering him on. Izzo isn't happy about the fact that Whitebeard is doing this. There's a little bit of distrust between them. But we know later on that Izzo, you know, starts to like Odin and joins his crew. So it's interesting to see here he's, he's like, if you hurt him, I'll kill you. It's like, come on, Izzo, we know, we know that you joined the crew. Maybe there's something else there, some underlying tensions. Who knows, but it looks like, at the end of this chapter anyway, that he has very much come around to Whitebeard. Whitebeard as well is giving Odin little looks. You can tell that he is actually secretly supporting him. Then, with one hour left to go, Odin disappears. He's not on the chain anymore. Where has he gone? He has heard a woman in need, and that woman is Toki. And her full name is Amatsuki Toki, and she is very cute. And she is from the Void Century. Yes, we get confirmation here that she is from the Void Century. She has been travelling in time from 800 years ago. The implications of that, of course, are extremely important because we could finally get some information about the Void Century if we get to hear some of her conversations with Odin later on. We also find out that ever since she was a child, she has wanted to go to Wano, something that Odin isn't happy about because she's like, can you take me to Wano? And he's like, ah, oh, I just left there. But she wants to go to Wano, which also tells me the fact that Wano has kind of always been hard to get to, even like 800, 900 years ago. It's always been a hard place to get to, and she's wanted to go as a child. We don't know why, so there could be some potentially interesting stuff in there as well. But 
At the moment, she's in a bit of a problem because she has got a bunch of pirates chasing after her. She's saying that her value will go down, so I'm assuming maybe they know about her devil fruit. Who knows? Or potentially the void century stuff. I mean, if that did get out there, I'm pretty sure the world government would be going after her. So it could potentially just be her devil fruit. But these pirates, they're going after her. And the pirates are led by somebody that we recognise called Captain Karma. He's got an octopus on his head, but it's not on its head. It is his head because he is a fisherman. I find it interesting that he is a fisherman with an all-human crew. It looks like an all-human crew. And what's definitely interesting is the fact that he, later on, is a subordinate to Whitebeard. He is part of the Whitebeard pirate crew, the expanded pirate crew that we see later on at Marineford. And here, he's an antagonist. He gets knocked out by Whitebeard turning up looking for Odin because Whitebeard, he really does want Odin on his crew. And I've, we don't find out exactly how Karma joins Whitebeard's crew. We don't know if they had any conversations outside of this. But it's good to see him here. Because I think that Odin, he's really picking the members of the Whitebeard crew and alliance. He's really picking the characters carefully. Potentially for them showing up in the present. Why? Because we know that Izzo is actually still out there. And the fact that he used to be a retainer for Odin pretty much tells me that he's very, very highly likely going to come back, going to come back to see his brother, Okika Nojo, and help in the fight against Kaido and Big Mum. So when Izzo turns up, is he going to bring some other Whitebeard pirates with him? And I think that Oda is very, very carefully putting some pirates in here that are going to be most likely turning up. Pirates like Captain Karma, Whitey Bay, Rakuyo, and he's ball and chain so maybe these are all going to turn up not sure if marco is going to turn up though because he told nekomushi that he wasn't but he also told nekomushi to pass on a message to luffy could that be iso related speaking of nekomushi and inonarashi we find out a little bit later on in this chapter that they stowed away on whitebeard ship and they managed to remain undetected for at least three days, which is good on them, man. Man, just to sneak around on that ship for three days. But they have been on that ship, and that is how they went out to sea. So, Izzo, Odin, Toki, Nekomimishi, and Inarushi all officially join the Whitebeard Pirates, and we get to see another little party scene. We see here that Izzo has lined up. He's got his fans out. He's dancing. We see Odin there. He is acting like Luffy going on all of these adventures with Whitebeard, just enjoying it, just jumping in head first. And the Whitebeard Pirates are building up a great big reputation. In this little uh, party as well, we see more of Nekomamushi, Inarushi, and Marco bonding. Lots of good stuff here. And probably the best bit is when Whitebeard talks to Odin and calls him brother. Yes, he calls him brother. Not son. He calls everybody else son. He calls Odin brother. That tells me that how much Whitebeard respects Odin. Brother equals. They see each other as equals. Then at the end of this chapter, we see a very, very young Shanks and a very, very young Buggy. So what does that mean? That means we get Gold Roger, Gold D Roger. We see him at the end and he's reading the paper about Whitebeard and about this new samurai on his crew. And he states that he wants to go and meet this samurai for himself. He wants to go and meet Odin. Something very, very exciting to look forward to. How are their interaction going to be? We saw Whitebeard and Odin they were clashing as equals. What's it going to be like when they meet Gold Roger? And why does he make the jump onto Roger's ship? Is it related to the One Piece? Is it related to Raftal? Could it be related to Toki and the Void Sentry stuff? All good stuff to look forward to. Also means we're going to see a lot more buggy. So got that to look forward to as well. This chapter, fantastic. Gold tier straight away. Not going to give it gold tier plus just because I was a little bit disappointed that they did skip that fight clash. But... Apart from that, great, great, great chapter. Really, really, really good stuff. I'm very excited for next week's chapter because we're on break this week. Let's go, buggy! Oh, and in the Capone cover page story, the germ pirates are going around kissing everybody. Who cares? Buggy! Hey, so thanks for watching. What did you think? Let me know about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed my video, maybe give it a like. And if you really liked it, why not subscribe? You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. Oh, and here's a related video you might enjoy and something more fresh. I've been Higassin and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!